Well, this is a different location for filming and it's probably a little echoey. My uh, studio where I film is about a half an hour away from my house and I just don't have the time to go down there today. So we're gonna film in our guest bathroom that still needs to be remodeled. It is hideous in here. I mean, just look at this door. I'm gonna, I just put some skincare on. So I'm gonna take one of my Bliss makeup wipes and just kind of like give my face a little once over just for, to remove anything that hasn't like settled into my skin yet. But anyways, ugh, I got a lawless PR package. It looks like this. By the way, I haven't received a, a lawless uh, PR package in a very long time. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is a light weight long, oh no, I'm sorry. That was the other one. I have an LA girl package over here that's like light, like lightweight, like light coverage foundation. I wanna try that one too. This one is long wear full coverage. Comes in a little package like this. It's kind of interesting, it like dips in in the middle. I don't know, it's like plastic and then the color is on the side. So those are the shades. Now I chose these, but it's really hard to tell like on little swatches. Uh, so we'll have to see. This also comes with this little foundation brush. Normally I would use a foundation brush a lot larger than this. I'll show you guys, where is it? This is a Morphe brush. It's an M439, freaking love this for foundation. I have a discount code if you guys ever wanna buy Morphe in store online, it's just Kristen. So this is theirs. So it is a bit smaller, but we'll see how this works. It's really soft. Then there's also a long wear setting spray included. Look at these little, cute scissors I got on Amazon. I love these, these are cute. I'll link them for you guys. Also, I've been adding, um, I might, might start doing Amazon Lives pretty soon. So follow me on Amazon. I'll put the link below for you. It's like amazon.com slash Kristen Leanne style. Here are all of the shades that they have available currently. So it's, it's a lightweight and comfortable on the skin wear all day long. Her most full coverage foundations felt thick and heavy upon application, so she was inspired to create something new. This foundation feels like a serum. Does that mean it's gonna be greasy? I don't know. It covers like a full coverage foundation. So that kind of reminds me of Derm, what is it? Derma Blend. Yeah, I have it up there. I absolutely love that foundation. It feels really light, but it will cover absolutely anything. Sets, oh, okay. So it's like a full coverage foundation that feels like a serum and it dries down like a powder. And it soothes the skin because it has a bunch of good shit in it. Goji berry extract, etc. Okay, so. I think it's probably gonna be a mixture of these two for me. This is champagne and this is fawn. So fawn, champagne. It has like a little ball in there, which is good. I did uh, like arm day yesterday and my triceps are so sore. Cool. Whatever that's called. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, and I use eyeshadow palettes to uh, put my foundation on. This one is champagne and this one is fawn. It's looking more like fawn for me, but I'm gonna mix them together. You know what? No, I'm not gonna put any primer on. I just wanna see how this looks. I was gonna put my primer on that I've been using, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I have a couple little blemishes too. Ooh, this is too pale for me. I'm gonna stick with the darker one, which is champagne. Fawn. This brush is really soft. Wish it was a little bit bigger. It definitely does feel like a soothing serum. It's like kind of cool. So far, I'm not sure I would call this full coverage. Like what are my other ones that are full coverage then? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like it, but it's also way too white for me. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna be able to go out in public in this unless I wear a freaking turtleneck. Okay, I'm doubling up some of the layers here. Did I feel like a ghost right now? Like my body is so much more tan than this. <laughs> Looked like the right color on the swatch sheet, okay? It's really like settling into my pores right here, but I've got pores, I'm 32 years old, but I can't really do much about that. The coverage doesn't really seem full coverage to me. I definitely have more full coverage foundations, but if this was the right color, I think it would actually look pretty good if I used my pore stuff before. So lately I've been using my foundation basically to be my concealer. So I'm gonna do that today as well and just kind of see how that covers this like darker area here. 
A little like seems to go a long way with this stuff as well. And I'm interested to see how it dries down. Did a pretty good job of covering that. Yeah, that always looks kind of gross around my nose rings. I always have to get a little tiny brush and get in here and make sure the foundation's actually like in my pores. Otherwise it looks just weird. Obviously my chest, let me flip you guys down, is a totally different color. So I look like a ghost, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this right now with some powder. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I've been using this stuff like crazy lately. The sheen on it to me looks really nice though. Like it doesn't feel sticky. I should have shut the window in there. Sorry, Sorry guys. But I'm just gonna set this like I normally would just to see how it ends up, but it definitely doesn't feel wet or anything like it already dried down kind of more like a powder like it said I feel like because at first it felt like it was going to be wet for at least a year and a half but now oh, it feels better. I'm going to try and warm up my face with some bronzer and <laughs> see if we look presentable but um, once this kind of settles into my skin a little bit and I finish the rest of my makeup we'll pop back on and we'll look at it together and see how we feel as a whole. The coverage is actually pretty good. Like the way it was applying at first was kind of creeping me out a little bit because it seemed to like move around a lot. I just didn't think it was gonna be even. As it kind of dried down and got powdered, it looks pretty good right now. So let's see how this looks after the rest of the makeup goes on. See that foundation missing right there? I literally just took a drink, ignore my mustache. I literally just took a drink of water. I wonder if this is like water soluble because normally, like even if my face gets wet when I wear a foundation, I can kind of just like get the droplets of water off. But this was almost like a watercolor just now. Like if that makes sense, like it grabbed the pigment in the foundation and I just wiped it away. So now I have to redo that. And I think that's super weird. Lawless Beauty's in La Jolla? What? It's like really close to us. Okay. Can you see that? Look at my lip. The water is just like moving the foundation. I'm gonna try putting some of this on my hand and then I would like to see, actually let's do this over a tattoo. I wanna see what this looks like when we put water on it. Okay, so I just put it over that tattoo. We're gonna set it with some powder. Oh, I just spilled water on everything. Seem to be doing anything super weird on my arm. I don't know what the hell is going on. Let's see what this looks like after we finish the base. Here we are with the rest of my makeup finish. I wasn't sure I was gonna put lashes on tape. I've been freaking obsessed with these. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes 421. I'll put everything that I'm wearing in the description box. Okay, so we're gonna use the setting spray. I probably should have put this on before I did my lashes and stuff, but I honestly forgot about it. So long wearing, skin smoothing, makeup perfecting. I'm curious how the mist is. Like, is it? It's pretty fine, okay. Oh, it smells like citrus, like lightly. That's... I'm like, is it aimed at my face? It's a very light mist. You could put like a hundred layers of that on. I feel like, okay, my face. I have to say that I'm absolutely loving the way that this looks on my skin. I wasn't sure how it was gonna deal with kind of the wear and tear of me putting on my bronzer, my blush, all of that, by the way. Oh my gosh. I just freaking dropped my Becca Cosmetics Opal highlight on the ground and it's sitting right here and I'm gonna have to scoop it up into this and just turn it into dust. This is my, that's my favorite freaking highlight. If you guys have a dupe for me, Please let me know because I'm pretty sure Becca Cosmetics is going out of business. Overall, I think the coverage is actually great, but it does feel lightweight and it's interesting. I feel like it almost like the coverage got like more significant, like as it dried down. So that was kind of interesting. I'm gonna, um, I have some errands to run. So I want to check in with you guys in a little bit and see how this is looking. Sometimes foundation just gets real oily on me. And after a couple hours, I typically don't leave my foundation on for like longer periods of time than that. So my pores look pretty good as well. I mean, every, I don't know, everything's looking pretty good. I'm pretty, Pretty impressed with this so far. The color is definitely not right, <laughs> but maybe I can reach out and get a couple different shades. But so far, so good. It feels light. Coverage is good. I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours and see how this is feeling and looking.
I'm back. But before I do that, I wanted to talk to you guys about what I said I was gonna talk to you about. So recently a few friends have asked me why their foundation is like not sitting on their skin properly. Like it almost feels like it's sitting on top of their skin and kind of moves around a little bit. The two people that asked me about this when I told them my response, they seemed kind of surprised by it. And they were like, oh, I'll try that. And I'm like, kind of thought that that was just like common knowledge with foundation, but maybe it isn't. Waking up in the morning after you've slept on your pillow, you're gonna want to wash your face and use toner toner and you be aware and conscious of like the type of moisturizer you're putting on your face. Obviously it depends on your skin type and if you suffer from dry skin or if you have normal skin or oily skin, all those things play a factor. So you kind of have to figure out what's going to work for you. Don't just wake up and with the oils and serums and grease from your pillow and hair products from your pillow that come off of your hair onto your pillowcase and then get on your skin. Do not just put your foundation straight on your face. Typically not gonna look very good. So you're gonna wanna wash your face in the morning, every morning, do your toner and whatever moisturizer. A lot of times I'll use a very lightweight moisturizer for my skin. I kind of have combo skin, but it's more normal than anything else. And so I'll put something in on my skin that I know is going to soak in rather quickly and if I feel like it hasn't I will go at like I'll use a makeup wipe like I did today or a toner wipe over my whole face before I even start and then right before I put my foundation on I'll use like a water moisturizer and let that soak in while I do my eye makeup and then I'll put my base on so just you want to start with clean skin like you don't want to have like all the guck from your pillow and like what you slept on and in like on your face when you start fresh. Okay, I'm now gonna go and I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours and we'll see how we're looking. Here we are a couple hours later. It's like glowy. Another hour, I think I would be greasy looking. So right now, if I were to go to the bathroom, I would definitely powder here, here in the tip of my nose and my chin. But I mean, it still looks pretty dang good. I'm gonna show you what this looks like outside so you guys can see the sun is setting. It's like really pretty lighting out there and at least you can see in some natural lighting. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I still think my Tarte Amazonian Clay might win because it doesn't get greasy quite as quick. This still looks really good. I would definitely wear this again uh, from what I'm seeing right now. But let's check it out outside. Oh my gosh, I'm blinded. I'm gonna halfway go back in the bedroom here. This gives you a chance to kind of see the more dewy areas, but overall, I think it looks pretty dang good still. Maybe heavier powder in the beginning in those areas too, but um, so a little dewy, but I still think it's like dewy in like a good way right now, but I wonder if I let it go in another two hours, <laughs> I'd probably look super greasy. So I think I um, am giving my approval to this foundation. I really like it so far. Um, I do need to get a darker shade so I can actually wear it and see, but I am curious about more longevity. Like if you were to wear this to like Disneyland or something, you were gone for like five or six hours. I'm curious what it would look like, but so far, so good. Jojo's, what are you doing? What are you doing, pretty girl? Do you like this foundation?